Welcome to our St. Mike's virtual campus tour. To get you familiar with some of the buildings on campus, I will be sharing some fun facts and information about them. Behind me is Kelly Library. Kelly Library opened in 1969 and is located on St. Michael's campus, but is open to all students. Kelly Library is home to the Kelly Cafe, which is a great place to pick up study snacks, and during exam time, it is open 24 hours. You may recognize the front of Kelly Library from the hit TV show, Designated Survivor. For more information about the resources offered at the Kelly Library, check out the Library Resources module. This is Carr Hall, which opened in 1954 and holds classrooms and offices for many programs. In 1959, because women did not yet have access to Hart House, it was St. Mike's students who protested to have a debate featuring the soon-to-be President of the United States, John F. Kennedy, to be held at St. Mike's here in Carr Hall for both male and female students. Over here is the Quad. This beautiful space is an awesome place to play Frisbee, read a book, or debate what this statue could be of. On one side of the quad, we have the Queen's Park buildings. These buildings opened in 1963 and include three residence houses, Moore, Fisher, and Teefee. Through the Queen's Park buildings arch, you can get to the Pontifical Institute of Medieval Studies, which is home to one of the most beautiful study spaces on campus. At the end of the quad, there's a basketball court, which backs one of the other residence buildings, Elmsley Hall. Elmsley opened in the 1950s and is the largest residence building for first year communities. It also houses our mail room and the porter's desk. Inside Elmsley Hall, you can also access Charbonnel Lounge, which is a popular space for events, movie nights, and sometimes even weddings. Now we have arrived at the heart of St. Michael's campus, Brennan Hall. Brennan opened in the 1930s and is home to the registrar's office, student services, wellness counselor, and many more. Inside Brennan is the Coop, which is our dedicated student lounge. Here, students can relax, play board games, study, watch movies, and play pool. As a member of the Student Council, I just love coming here and talking to all the different people who pass by, especially when class is let out and you see a lot of people that you might not usually meet. Also in Brennan Hall, we have Mike's Cafe, where you can pick up some St. Mike's swag, a quick snack, or some coffee before class. Behind me is the Office of the Registrar where students can come for academic advising and financial support, among other things. To learn more about what the Registrar has to offer, please check out the Office of the Registrar module. To my right is the stairs leading to the Canada Room, which is St. Mike's Dining Hall. It is open to both residents and commuter students where there is something for everyone. As we step out the doors of Brennan Hall, we come to what I believe is the most scenic place on campus. This cobblestone road is called Elmsley Place and is lined by the five historic houses which serve as residence buildings for students and some of the staff. It also houses the offices of various St. Mike's departments. At the end of the road is Founders House where you can find our President's Office. Behind me is Sabrera Hall, another one of our residence buildings, which houses both first year and upper year communities. Finally, through the arch in Sabrera, we arrive at Odette Hall, home to the Principal's Office as well as a few other departments. Odette Hall is built into the side of St. Basil's Church, which is operated by the Basilian Fathers, the community which founded St. Mike's. A fun fact about the Basilian Parish, it is the oldest operating building on the University of Toronto campus. And that completes our tour of campus. We can't wait for you to see it for yourself.